Hey, everybody. All right, yeah, we're good. My tweet went live, everything, my mic is on. Yes, it is. And if you can see this, Aries has just joined us. Aries uh, showed up literally seconds ago um, and has decided to uh, take a spot by my serger over here and is gonna hang out with us, I guess. This is what he does a lot of the time when I'm here. Um, just sewing alone, and so I guess he's decided that he's going to join the rest of us for our stream as well. Hello, Chris Lyon, thanks, saying the hope that I'm doing fantastic. I hope you are as well, as well as Komushika. Welcome, guys. Oh, and Anna. Hi, A. Petty. Thanks for coming in. And yes, there's that Aries emote. So I'm going to end up blocking him with my body, but... <laughs> Hey, thanks for the resub um, for 14 months in a row. Nice. Thank you for your loyalty and sticking around. So I've done a little bit of work um, between streams. Not a lot. I'm going to wrap this step up, but I started it in my kind of off stream time. Wow, that looks super yellow. Um, that looks super yellow on camera now that I'm holding it up. Even way more so than it looks in person. I, oh, hey, Link fan. Thank you also for the resub. Um, for 14 months in a row as well. You guys are awesome. So yeah, it does look kind of on the yellow side, but I still really like it. This was that, um, it's LeMay Tricot is what it was listed as on the bolt. I got this at Joann's. It was uh, $5 a yard, so very cheap for Joann's fabrics. And it's super, super thin. Um, it's like almost tissue paper thin, this gold stuff. Um, I could not get it to cooperate as bias tape, and so kind of the way that I ended up um, making this work is that I used basting spray, which is like a temporary adhesive spray, to um, spray the bias tape, lay it onto the gold fabric, cut that out, and basically I'm like piggybacking um, this gold like tissue foil. Yes, Aries, are you? He's out. He's out. See you later. He'll probably be back. Um, onto the other bias tape, um, I just like kind of sandwiching them together so that the gold will behave like the bias tape. And I do think that it works. Um, I'm happy with how this, this is one of the sleeves. I have to do the other sleeve and I have to do the piece that goes around the bottom still. So you'll get to see me do that. Oh, he's actually just found another, um, another little nest over in some pattern paper that I had laid on the floor. So that's where Aries is gonna hang out for now. Um, I still need to iron this, but I think it looks pretty nice for being just like freshly stitched. And yeah, this will be um, one of the call, oh, sorry, the sleeve cuffs. So this will come together probably in tonight's stream um, once we get all this bias tape done, but it'll look something like this and be attached to the edge of the sleeve, which I just realized I'm wearing like almost the exact colors as the thing that I'm making, which is super on brand. <laughs> uh, so Art Theorist, this is a sailor shirt for me. Mr. Lightman, say thank you for saying that you like my work. Appreciate that. Apelgatrox, hello. Kamashika, thank you. The gold has just been a huge pain in the butt to work with. I'll let this one hang out over here. Um, as well. It's been a huge pain in the butt to work with, so I'm really glad that I found a solution that um, doesn't take too much time. And I guess I'm ready to go ahead and make that second strip, so I'm actually going to step away from the camera for a minute um, to do that. It's laying over on my ironing board. I just need to uh, spray it with some more basting spray. I'm gonna just bring this over. Oh, I've got Ren Fair stuff going on. I'll show you guys in a bit, probably. But I've been making capes and robes and things, and here's a couple of different capes and all of that uh, Ren Fair stuff. Let me get this laid down really fast. There's not much to see. 
right here. Hey, Pro Jared. I see you doing something. I'll be over there in a second. I can't see the screen. Alright, so this is um, just a strip of bias tape that I ironed flat and sprayed with basting spray. So basting spray is an adhesive spray, but it's temporary. It'll wear off within like 30 minutes-ish probably. Uh, it kind of depends on what you stick it to. But that's usually about the kind of working time that I've had with it. Pro Jared resub for 14 months in a row. Thanks, Jared. And thanks for the host. Uh, let's see. <laughs> And also, William of the Rune Keepers, thank you for the sub. You guys are great. Okay, so um, what I did basically is like loot it down, but temporarily. Oh, and Link Fan, thank you for the $20. Your signature $20 donation. I appreciate very much. That will go toward Renfest funds, most likely. Yeah, I have so many, like, Renfest ideas on my brain. Like, that's what I've been doing in the last week when I haven't been streaming. I've been just, like, non-stop making Renfair clothes. Um, so I'm sure I'll talk about that a little bit. Let me get this strip cut out. Okay. So this is what I just prepared. It's white bias tape that has been, um, basting sprayed onto the gold. I need to clean up this other side. I'm just like using my rotary cutter to um, cut off the extra material. Um, let's see. Yeah, so Ren Faire stuff. Um, I always get kind of burned out in August because it's like the end of the summer and I've been doing stuff all year and like convention season and it's like kind of uh, winding down, but Dragon Con is such a big one that I always feel like compelled to make something big, even though I'm exhausted. And so August is like historically not great for me. Um, but this year I decided that instead of stressing myself over anything like that's a bigger obligation, all I really want to do is, um, you know, spend my time like churning out these little Ren Faire outfits. And so what I'm making is like a lot of unisex clothing that can be worn by people of a like a pretty large range of sizes so stuff like capes and pants that wrap around the body and tie rather than having like a fixed size and like billowy shirts and stuff like that um i try to i've been making a lot of, of things along those lines and so that has been really really fun um and very satisfying, like weirdly enough, compared to working on something like uh, cosplay that's really complicated, where I'm, you know, trying hard to be accurate to a certain source material, and you know, want to use perfectly accurate fabrics and like certain techniques, and like going out of my way to plan all these things. That's what my sewing experience is like so often. And instead of doing that, with the Renfair clothing, it's just like, alright, what do I have in my closet? Cool, that fabric will work, I have enough, let's lay it out. Um, this pattern has been sitting around for, you know, years in some cases and never been used. So, um, like a lot of patterns that I've collected at like sales when they're on sale for like one or, or five dollars, um, I will just scoop them up. And I have a, a pretty decent little collection of patterns. I'm just folding this, by the way, just with my fingers. No ironing right now. Um, so I have all of these patterns and fabrics and things that I'm able to use up from my stash that I'm able to just like sew it really quickly and it doesn't need to be fit and it doesn't need a mock-up because it's you know not made for anybody in particular. It's just like kind of a free size or like a one size fits most type of item. Um, and that has been really really fun it's like reinvigorating my love of sewing to just be able to churn stuff out and you know not think about it too hard and not have to worry about doing it perfectly a certain way um, so that's been my past week and that's what I've been doing in the week the past week I have made 
one elf dress that's like um, kind of a medieval flowy maiden sleeve type thing. Um, so you have one of those, two full body length robes that have like hoods since so they're like capes but like wizard robes. Um, two smaller capes that are like fluttery around the shoulders. Uh, three different sets of wrap pants that like tie around the body. And I've cut out two, one shirt, one shirt so far and got fabric to make more. And I've cut like two different vests. So I've got a lot of different stuff that I'm working on. But, uh, you know, most of those items aren't that interesting looking, to be completely honest. Like, none of them are like uh, fancy things that I would want to show off in a stream or whatever. I mean, you know, maybe I'll like flash a couple here on this stream, but I'm saying, like, compared to this type of project where I want to show you all the details of how it's made. Like, the other stuff, it's really not that interesting. It's just, it's made following the instructions. Um, but the point of that isn't that it's made to impress anybody. It's just made to be fun. All right, so what I'm doing now is I laid out this cuff piece. I am using my chalk um, marking tool. It's not quite a pen or a pencil, but it's like a little chalk wheel that's automated, and so this creates a line, it's a temporary line, it'll just brush off. Okay, and that is um, three quarters of an inch away from the edge. And now, this piece is gonna get lined up here, but I'm actually just going to freehand it because I like to live dangerously. Will I be attending New York Comic Con? No, I am not. Sorry about that. I've never been there before. Yeah, Galadriel was uh, asking me, I've been making creative fun stuff. Yeah, the Ren Fair stuff is what I was referring to with that. So there, there's the answer I kind of got behind on looking at chat, but there you have it. It is a great opportunity to just make whatever. And it's been a wonderful opportunity to like use up fun fabrics that I was like, oh, I should make something out of that, but like didn't have a particular plan. And so I've been cleaning space in my closet too, which is very nice. Okay, so I started by just laying down my um, gold trim. And the reason why was because I was kind of getting my stitch started on the piece before it um, so there's like, I'm leaving a little bit of extra edge. That's in the instructions for this um, project, is that you want your trim to um, stick out over the edge a little bit, just as insurance that you have enough. And so um, I just got my stitching started. And so I am simultaneously folding this over, lining it up with my chalk line, and stitching through all layers as I go. So wish me luck. I just did it, it's fine. I might be concentrated on stitching for a minute while I do this, but all it takes is a little fold and press. No pins. My hands are pinning it as I go. And I'm still being pretty, like, deliberate in my approach. I'm not going very fast. Mellow Ninja is saying, let's share pictures of fabrics that you love just because of how they look. If you'd like to do that, feel free. I collect a lot of fabrics that I'm just like, uh, I think texture and what it's made out of are like the biggest things for me. Um, I generally prefer to work with natural fibers, which I've been, been going on like some Twitter 
rants lately, I guess you could say, about different fibers and how much I like them. Um, but I would consider myself like a fabric nerd. Uh, but I really, really like wearing natural fibers, which can range from anything from really cheap cotton to really nice, expensive silk. Um, what they all have in common is that they're all breathable. They're also all biodegradable. Um, and just generally wearing breathable fabrics is a more comfortable experience. Generally. Some of them are more scratchy and sometimes they wrinkle more, but, you know. Penguin Cosplay, thank you for the sub. Um, subscribe for 14 months in a row. Awesome. Thank you for sticking around for so long. Say, so can't wait to see what you make next. Hope to see you at Dragon Con one day. I will be at Dragon Con. I would love to meet you, Penguin Cosplay. I'd also love to meet um, Hugh Link Fan, um, who talked about I was going to Dragon Con. If anybody else here is going to Dragon Con, let me know. Uh, it's my last big convention of like the season or whatever, of the summer at least. Um, so. Oh, one thing that I know that I'm 100% for sure doing at Dragon Con, and so if you want to find me there, this is a good way of um, kind of making it happen, is I am going to be joining um, on Thursday night, there's a procession of lantern elves, which is people dressed up as elves that proceed um, with lanterns and playing music. And I think it's like uh, coinciding with like a lot of the other Tolkien themed events. Like I think there's a Hobbit choir, and there's like a, a Night at Bree like social event. So I just turned this around and now I'm stitching the other side, and it's all just freehanded. But hey, it's on there, and it's actually really neat looking. So yay, go Heidi. Um, so a Night at Bree is what the I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a concert banquet kind of thing. I went last year, but it was really dark, and I was by myself, and I got stressed, and I was like, all right, I'll just come next year maybe. Anyway, uh, my friend and I are going, so this time I won't be alone, and I'll have a friend, and we both have Tolkien costumes, and, uh, or elf costumes. So they're not, they're not explicitly Tolkien, but they're kind of like Tolkien-inspired style, like the movie versions. So that, that type of look... Um, but they're just like generic elf costumes. They're not like a, a certain character or anything like that. Um, so I'm doing that at Dragon Con, and that's actually why I ended up making one elf dress. Um, so far, I'm planning on making another one. It's also pink and gold because that's just all I'm gonna wear, I guess, forever. Um, I don't know the exact timing, but I know that the um, there's a Facebook event that you can look it up. Just search Lantern Elf Procession if you're interested. Um, and otherwise, I would say just check the Dragon Con schedule for A Night at Bree. And that should um, show you where like those Tolkien-themed events are happening. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there's basically like a central area where all of the like Tolkien characters are hanging out on Thursday. So I, I can't tell you exactly where I will be at exactly what time, but I will be involved in all of that, and I will be in that general area, which I believe is like somewhat more um, centralized, so it's a good place to look for me. And also, I'm sure there will just be a lot of really fun stuff going on with all the different elves and hobbits and orcs and whoever else. Checking out everybody's um, favorite fabrics that they're talking about. Everyone talking about art. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm almost done sewing this, and I haven't messed up yet. This is actually going very well. Um, unlike using whatever other fabric I might have had laying around to make this, the fact that I used bias tape meant that there was already, like, a pre-crease. It was, like, pre-creased. Um, 
it was already cut to the right size. So that's why I decided to use, this is like pre-made bias tape that I covered rather than just like a random strip of fabric is because I wanted the crispness and the, um, that crease that was like, uh, pressed in by their fancy industrial machines. Hello, Lawrence Turtles. All right, here's how the other one turned out, which is actually really great, considering this is all like eyeballed. <laughs> But hey, um, you know, live free. Obsidian Skies, I've been doing really well. I've been making tons of Ren Faire stuff. I'm really excited about it. That's all I keep talking about. Let me check my messages real quick. Make sure it's not too important. Oh, there's people chatting. Cool, cool. All right, what's next? I could do the bias trim that goes along the bottom. Staying hydrated. Uh, let's see, let me double check my instruction sheet, which I am just looking at digitally. All of the cut sew patterns come with um, digital instructions that you can just look up. So I'm scrolling back up. This is actually step number five because we ended up working out of order. Hey, what have we got? Link fan gifted a sub to Obsidian Skies. Uh, thank you both. That's awesome, Link fan. Always gifting me subs. You're super generous. Um, looking at the instructions, we're on. We're technically on step five because we've worked out of order quite a bit. But basically, it is time to put bias tape um, as a continuous strip along the bottom of the skirt, about two inches up from the bottom of the skirt. Um, and I'll want to have some excess hanging off over the edge about half an inch. So, <laughs> League Fan has gifted 28 subs in this channel. Uh, Universal says, what a hero, which is a succinct way of saying it. Uh, and yeah, I know that he's also doing the same thing in Jared's streams and other people's streams too, so we're not alone here. Uh, League Fan's generosity knows no bounds. Okay, I'm going to move some things around. I have another camera set up. Let's see how that looks. The white balance is weird. I didn't really mess with it before getting it set up. Well, whatever, I'm gonna keep it um, up for now. This is that gold stuff, by the way. It's just like, there's just like nothing to it. It's so fluttery. Um, yeah, it's really gonna bother me with the white balance. I don't know why that is, because it wasn't like that last stream, but okay. We could stick with our other view, which I think is just fine for pretty much all we're doing. I'm just gonna be like briefly out of sight while we gather everything up. Okay, this is the shirt and other pieces that I've already worked on. These are bow from last time. I didn't actually sew it together yet, but it's like ready to go. Um, this is the shape, the general shape and fit. I've got it like kind of pleated for convenience as I was just trying to pin it onto the form while I was taking pictures, but um, it'll be gathered rather than pleated. But that's just kind of a preview of the general shape. I also did like some slight alterations um, in the break, which was that I um, made sure that it fit around my shoulders and torso a little bit better than it did like automatically. Those were very, very um, slight and very simple alterations. Anybody can do that, uh, but they're gonna be different for each person, which is why I just kind of did that pretty quickly off stream. Um, so that was pretty much just like pinching it at the sides, you can't see what I'm doing, pinching it at the sides or pinching it at the top of the shoulder and just kind of uh, not making it tight, 
but making it kind of fall in the general shape of my body um, so that it wasn't like bunching in weird places or anything like that. So that's uh, something that I did in my own time um, and just something to keep in mind, I guess, if you're doing this on your own at home. So here's my skirt piece on the way down for a second. A pack of bias tape it's just basic stuff from the store um, any brand is fine this is single fold stripe that I just like kind of quickly measured out based on the skirt itself and now I am measuring out a second stripe based on the first one. Oh, perfect. We're getting close to the end here. Um, I am going to also step off camera for a minute to um, iron this, but I'll be right back. I'm not going to bother moving my setup. Entertain yourselves. Chat amongst yourselves briefly while I go and do this. I'll do one at a time. back. Um, once more, let me prepare things. Make sure I've got my scissors and stuff lined up. Step off camera one more time. Uh, what I'm doing, actually, just so. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is using that basting spray on my bias trim um, that I just just ironed out, and then I'll come back and lay it onto this fold fabric, and then we'll make another strip. 
So this um, basting spray is really nice because it grips like instantly, but it also is temporary, so it's not going to um, be really unmanageable or anything. Although I should probably vacuum my floor. I'm getting random straight thread and wig hair and cat hair. I'm back with my long gold strip. People are talking about dream projects. That's so interesting. The music playing is Radio Cutman. Um, I think I need to update the link that's in the, the box, but you can search Radio Cutman on YouTube and you'll find it really easily. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of remix um, video game songs and other things. Link fan, if you want to share the character you've been working on, um, we can get you permission to share a link. Um, but if you if you're not ready yet, no pressure. Oh, I need to finish cutting that. That's what I was doing. I 
anyway. This Cut Sew project is the only, like, ongoing, I guess, public project that I have right now. I have a couple of things that I'm making, like, with friends or for friends. Um, but this is my only other, like, obligation sewing right now. Or things, not that it's an obligation, but something that I, like, publicly announced, like, hey, I'm doing this, let's do this together. And as much as I enjoy sharing my work and my progress with you guys, it's also a different experience to just, like, comfortably churn out cheap Renaissance clothing in the comfort of my own home. Um, so I've been enjoying doing that recently, <laughs> as well as enjoying these streams together. But I've got all these capes on the brains. I, I just want all of my friends to be dressed as wizards. I need to go out and find some good walking sticks to make wizard sticks. Um, or wands or something. I am quite excited about wearing this cute little sailor shirt and bloomers though. I think a, well, we'll see, but I think a good goal could be to get the whole shirt together tonight. Maybe not with buttons and all of that, but, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how far we get. I do want to get farther. I might do a longer stream tonight. We'll see. We'll see how much energy I have. all of my extra trimmed off. Oops, except at the very end. got this one as like stuck on there just as well because it's been kind of a pain in the butt with the gold just coming off and it seems like it's wanting to separate a little bit so that's annoying Syncrophy says they were wishing they had a craft room. It's definitely, um, well, for me, it's my workspace, but it's also a luxury I enjoy and just like having um, a space to come and like do your thing. Um, and so I feel very grateful that I have a spot to put all of my equipment and stuff like that. Even though it's more than just a hobby, it's still, um, I don't know, something you want to. Uh, like a sacred uh, element to creating art. This is my sanctuary. Meloninja wants to cosplay from uh, Bait and Kaito's Origins. Ooh, good one. Chris Lyon says, anyone into cosplays and integrate some kind of electronics in it? Um... I really like the look and the concept, but I have like so little experience with that. I've always been really intimidated by doing that kind of stuff. Uh, it's easier now than ever because 
not only are there all, all kinds of tutorials, but there's also like people who do it on commission, um, you know, businesses that cater specifically to this type of thing, and you know, it's commonplace enough that people understand exactly what they're going to do with it. Um, a friend of mine runs a, a small business called Cosplay Lighting, and he does lighting um, kits for cosplays as well as like kits for photography lighting, and that's really cool. So I need to just like get over it. I don't have any ideas in mind right now that need lights, so that's why I haven't really done anything with it. But um, there's a number of conventions usually like. Fanime, I'm someplace I always go that I'm like, dang it, why don't I have a light up costume? Also, Katsukon, where people kind of hang out in the atrium at night. Um, people who have light up costumes really stand out, I think, in that kind of environment. It just looks so cool. I just love that sort of thing. So, I've never been one of them, but I want to be. I see them and I'm like, mmm, I wish I, I wish I was in a lit up skirt right now. going pretty well and after this I only have to do one more and I'm done with all the bias tape which I kind of part of the reason I put this project off is because I was having so much trouble with the bias tape and I'm glad I figured out this method that like kind of made it worth it because I was really what questioning whether or not I was just gonna have to use the white um, and I like the gold better I think it looks really neat and it does give it like a magical element especially with the Flecks of gold in the rest of the fabric. I really wanted it to be like magical girl esque. Like I want to look like the the pre transformation kind of version of a magical girl, but there's still like a magical element there. That's kind of I guess the vibe I'm going for <laughs> with this particular little costume um, or look is like magical girl esque. So, um, you know, following the pattern pretty exactly, like I'm not changing anything, but just the colors that I chose, uh, that is kind of the, the general aesthetic that I was looking at. Protagonist magical girl, yeah. Oh, Akon, that's what it is. Akon, I want to wear a light up costume there next year. Akon um, is in a new location for these last two years, so I guess it's starting to be a regular location. It's starting to feel a little bit more normal by next year. Uh, it's at a, a large convention center now at Fort Worth. Um, so instead of hotel parties, there's this large, large outdoor party um, that takes place in this kind of like courtyard area in a, a public park. Actually, no, it's private par private pro property, which is why we're all allowed to be there out at night. Um, and it kind of turns into like a freeform dance party where people have like speakers set up and everyone's like kind of hanging out. Um, and it's a really fun, like, outdoor kind of, like, chill environment where people are just kind of coming and going and, like, going from area to area. So for that, I would love to have a light-up costume of some kind. That's the other con that I was thinking of that I was like, where do I want to wear my light-up stuff to again? That one. Okay, uh, next I'm going to take my skirt and make sure it's ready to go. We're placing this one two inches up from the edge, so I'm just gonna do that quickly over here.
Luckily this ruler that I'm using is also two inches wide, which makes it very easy to just lay it down along the edge and just very, very quickly mark my two inches. I'm going to start my stitching just on the trim itself and then feed the fabric in. Once again, my fold and stitch all in one process. mod when we need one. Oh, do we have, um, we don't have a mod. permission to post. You're so ready. Hey, that looks great. I like the pose. I like the swordsman kind of style. I like the hair too. The hair color is nice. The dark gray. It's a good, good strong color palette. Yeah, I like what you've done there. What's the, uh, tell us a little about your character if you are interested in sharing. I'm just going to set this over here. long-awaited comic that we've been hearing about, Link fan. about all the different elves that I'm going to dress as. I'm working on like multiple elf costumes right now and they're all like original characters. None of them are uh, specific. You could say I have a type. Well, that's a pretty cool backstory leaf fan. I like that. Hey, welcome! Say thank you for the tiny 
clips trick. I'm using it for months now. It's so much nicer than pinning everything. Yeah, I'm a big fan of them as well. Thank you for stopping by. I'm looking forward to, um, I hope, meeting you in person at the Ren Fair. I am super, super excited about the Ren Fair adventures. Uh, and I can't wait to show you all the little stuff I've been working on. None of it's fancy. Oh, there it is. There's, there's a cape. There's another cape under that. There's a robe under that. There's a dress behind that. Yeah, yeah, I got stuff. Uh, none of it's particularly fancy or anything. It's all just like stuff I've put together in the last couple of days, or the last one week, more or less. But um, still, good stuff. I'm feeling very accomplished by just churning it out. Oh cool, finishing finished his wife's new scabbard, cat cosplay. That's awesome. I wanna see that stuff in person too. Anyway, I always have a habit of like making cool looking character designs, or I think they're cool looking, I try, uh, and not really having like much of a backstory or like a personality to support it. I'm just more concerned about aesthetics, I think. I'm more of a fashion designer than a character designer, but uh, that's fine. At least for like the Ren Faire stuff, it's not supposed to be anything in particular, and you know, the whole idea is that people will mix and match it and come up with their own ideas for their characters and say, well, oh, I'm this kind of person and that's why I chose these pieces. Um, so, like, it's, I don't want to dictate that for anybody else, but for myself, I often feel like, oh, I should probably come up with something for, you know, what this is supposed to be, but I often don't. make sure that the gravity isn't like making this fabric pull and shift as it's being fed through. Because I'm sewing through multiple layers without pins or anything um, and I want to make sure that it's all pretty much laying flat. That's why I wanted to make sure this was on the table and not hanging where it would be pulling more. Um, so yeah. I don't know if I can do this perfectly, but I'm at least attempting, giving it my best shot.
down to one side. I'm like sweating in here. I think it's this light that I have on me. I might turn that off. Um, Cause if it's just gonna make me miserable, then you know, that sounds terrible. Yeah, we're kind of like the hottest time of the year for at least Washington area. So, um, still not nearly as hot as other places I live, so I'm grateful for that. But, um, just kind of waiting for it to get cool again outside. I'm still trying to be mindful of the heat when I'm making, like, run fair stuff. Just knowing that we'll probably get pretty toasty walking around all day. Alright, we're almost to the end of the first strip. You see it? How much does that affect things? Oh, it's not even that bad. You guys can see fine. Hey, stay hydrated, bot. You got it. I'm staying hydrated. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna leave that light off. I can still see. I think you guys can still see what's going on. Um, and so that light was making me super extra hot and I hated it. So let's not do that anymore. Pretty. I'm so glad I went. There's only one more strip of bias tape, and then we're home free to just sew things together. That's the part that I actually like. Oh, thank you, Chris Lyon. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard the Castlevania show is really good. That's what people are talking about in the chat right now. Um, I have a couple friends who like cosplay from it and stuff. Okay, hopefully this gold does not come out of sync because I'll be annoyed. We're so close. It's the final stretch. Please don't, don't fail me now. Neo Yokio, my favorite. Yes, I do have Netflix. And yes, Neo Yokio is an amazing anime that you can watch on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this folds over pretty easily, and it folds really evenly right on the same line that it was like originally folded on. You just have to kind of like work with it a little bit and just kind of guide it with your fingers. But um, I'm not like eyeballing the fold or anything. Well, I mean, I guess I sort of am in that I'm not like measuring it and painstakingly folding it. But I just mean that like the bias tape, like the materials are like doing the work for me and not having to mess with it too much. starting to get finicky. I told you that um, the basting spray is just temporary hold. Yeah, it's starting to not be so held. Uh, but luckily that happens gradually and not all at once, and I'm on the home stretch of stitching, so we'll make it there. metallic stuff is fun. I just want to make everything metallic. If I have the option, it'll be metallic. I mean, that's not always true, but it's often true. benefit I've seen from streaming my cosplay work? Yeah, it is chatting with you guys, actually. Um, you know, otherwise I often just get distracted or sometimes discouraged if I'm, like, alone in here on my own time. Not always, but, like, depending on the mood and what, I, what I'm working on. Um, having people to kind of, like, sound off, like, my ideas has been really wonderful. Um, like, right now we have a donation goal of, um, you know, a cosplay will be just voted on by the chat. And so that's like a, you know, like a mutual thing rather than just me doing everything alone. And so that's been the most fun part, I guess, just interacting with people, like, just having people interested in what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. So thank you guys for being here. Although sometimes you're distracting too. But in a good way.
Yeah, I do spend a lot of less time just like chilling on my phone than I would if I weren't streaming. Even if I get like, quote, distracted or whatever, it's a different type of distracted or a different type of like, um, experience than just, uh, if I were getting distracted on my own time, it's a lot more detrimental usually. Hey Scarlet Moth, I'm glad you can make it. Pelka Truck says that they're glad that we can be a part of their, my creative process. Thank you. Uh, saying they got into Twitch for gaming and Let's Plays, but falling in love with the creative community. I kind of feel the same way. I watched the Bob Ross stream for the first time not that long ago. Obviously, I have seen Bob Ross. In fact, I'm old enough to have seen him on TV as a little kid. Um, or at least they were still playing the show, I think it was after his passing. But anyway. Um, I, I like actually went to the, the ongoing stream, which I hadn't really spent time doing, and just let it run in the background for like a whole evening while I was sewing, and I watched probably like five or six different paintings or more than that, um, and that was quality entertainment. Like, just having Bob there painting along with me, I was just like, nice going, Bob. That one looks great. You're, you're doing awesome. And the chat is really funny, too, because people are all, like, repeating a lot of the same jokes, but, like, I don't know if I'm just, like, ridiculous that I still chuckle at them when they're just, like, pretending that, you know, Bob is ignoring the chat or whatever. Uh, anyway, good times. It was just good, clean fun. Bob Ross. Hey, Evil, evil Crash donated $5. Did I miss, I'm, oh, sorry, I missed a Daddy's Little Monster donation. I'm sorry, I missed several things. Uh, let me see here. Daddy's Little Monster, three minutes ago, donated $10, saying, hey, Heidi, this might be one of the few streams I can catch for a while because I got the new job. Congratulations, um, Daddy's Little Monster. Followed by Evil Crash, donating $5, saying, so how you are, so how are you, Heidi? And it's a pun spelled S-E-W. Uh, I should be charging you. You know what? You you owe me five dollars for that. So thank you for the five the donation. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but thank you for the donation. Uh, yeah, the Bob Ross streams are fantastic to watch. That's what we were talking about. Just having um, a background buddy, uh, uh, Bob Ross painting, was super motivating for me um, to just keep going with my my project. Okay, we made it to the end of this particular strip of bias tape. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, looking good. Okay, cool. Um, I do want to put one more on. Let me double check how it looks on the inside. That looks good. That's fine. I'm good. Cool. I didn't have any weird mishaps. Um, I might take a really quick break. I've been streaming for about an hour. I'm gonna get some more water. Daddy's Little Monster is asking, what's on the mannequin behind slash in front of me? Well, let me tell you. It's my Red Fair costume, so I won't shut up about. Um, it's like several different clothing that's all sharing one mannequin, but it's like a couple different little capes and a robe underneath that. Um, so these are all generic pieces, but um, I am going to just kind of put my friends in them and hopefully we'll all have a really fun day at the Ren Fair. Um, let me step out, get some fresh water, and when I come back, I will do my last final strip of bias tape and then we'll be free from bias tape hell and we can move on to doing other things. 
we'll see how, how far I stream tonight, but I'd like to at least put more of this shirt together because I've got a lot of the pieces ready to go. Yeah, oh, that looks awesome. Oh, I'm so super happy with that. Cool. I will be right back. Return. All right, final bias um, tape time. Here it is. I'm going to step aside and iron it, and then I'll be back over here to make it cool. Hey, Aries, are you doing this? Okay, I was really aggressive with the basting spray on this one. It's our last one, so I'm hoping it goes smoothly.
also use this gold fabric for, I feel like it would make a beautiful um, like edge binding because it is very, very thin and flexible and can wrap around curves uh, without being cut on the bias um, and it doesn't fray. So for all of those reasons, I think it would be a super lovely edge binding, but unfortunately it is not great as like a top stitched bias strip, which is what I'm doing with it. So uh, yeah, that sucks, but whatever. However, I'm gonna make it look good. So all, that's all that matters at the end of the day. And now to cut it, so cut so that we do here, right? I think that's such a cute name, cut so. I'm really pleased with their patterns. It's been fun to work with. Oh, uh, what have we got? Bob the Samurai, thanks for subscribing for 13 months in a row. You were awesome, Bob. Thanks for sticking around with us. and I'll be back over there in viewing range momentarily. Link fan heading out. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. See you next time. figure out what my distance is going to be between the two stripes. There may be one uh, listed in the instructions, maybe double check. Them. Lawrence Turtles, have a good night.
a half inch is what they suggest for the spacing on these two. <laughs> Dry Race Girl says, so if we had voted for the white, would this step have been way easier or would there have been the same problem as the gold? Well, this would have been way easier. I would have had to do none of this because I'm using white bias tape and covering it in gold in order to get gold. So, um, yeah. I mean, whatever. I, ch I decided to do this, so it's really on me. Like, I, I asked you guys for your opinions and your votes, but ultimately, you know, I was the one who was like, okay, I'll do that. Uh... A public trust is saying, if I ever got into co if I never got into cosplay slash fashion, what do I think I would be doing with my time and money? Uh, video games. That's what I all, all used to do with my time and money before I got into cosplay and fashion. So, um, yeah. Daddy's Little Monster is asking, what seam finish would be good for a four-way stretch fabric if a serger isn't available? If a serger is not available, well, first of all, well, I guess it depends on the type of fabric, because a lot of them don't fray. If you have one that frays and you really want to do a seam finish, because if you, if you, if it doesn't fray, I would say just leave it. If it does fray, I would say just zigzag over it with your regular machine. Um, you know, it's not quite as secure as a surging stitch, but it's kind of the next best thing if that's what you've got available to you. Am I playing any good video games now? No, I'm like never playing video games anymore. <laughs> I mean, I watch them, um, and I enjoy them. I played like Breath of the Wild, and I played a few others, but very, very few, and for the most part, um, I'm just sewing. I just sew. I watch things online, I watch um, shows or I watch let's plays of games um, that I want to cosplay from or whatever, and I just find that that's a lot more, um, an easier way for me to digest that kind of stuff while I'm sewing and working so that I can be um, productive at the same time, which is a really big thing for me. Okay, I'm almost done folding. I folded all one side, now I'm folding the other side. about how I could probably make some dope ass appliques with this gold stuff. I'm not doing anything, but this is a necessary step.
Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. My tummy is sour. I um, had dinner a little while ago. That's why I've eaten, but I think I'm just like in that like post dinner crash where I'm just like not wanting to do anything anymore. Oh, you don't need to vote practically. You need to always vote for more glitter and glitz. Uh, dry erase girl is referring to the vote for gold or white bias tape. And how it got us into this position in the first place. Which is all right by me. Okay. And now the last thing I have to do is measure out the position and mark it. I can put this away and stop using it because I'm done with it. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing before stitching this down, which is go get myself some iced coffee. <laughs> I have coffee left over from this morning, and I'm just gonna put on a cup of some ice, and I'll be right back, because I need some coffee.
returned. It's go time. So time. Here's my long shirt skirt. It sounded like a vocal typo, but it wasn't. <laughs> Uh, Daddy's Little Monster went to bed. Uh, unfortunately, your stream is not loading. Have a good night. You probably couldn't hear me say it. What else? Triforce Master also went to bed. Have a good night. All right, you're so ready. Thank you, Apocatra. Again, I hate that it's like pulling so much on my fabric. So I'm gonna try to move it up over here. So kind and encouraging, keeping me focused and going when I'm tired. But we're almost out of bias tape hell. And then we can just sew. He says they're just browsing for new makeup. Started a horde after getting into makeup thanks to cosplay. That is exactly what happened to me. I did not and still really don't wear a lot of makeup or do wear really any makeup outside of cosplay. For streams, I draw on my eyebrows and I put on a little bit of mascara. That's what I have on today. Um, but normally in like my own time, I just don't bother. And before I was cosplaying, I never bothered. And now it's like I have everything. And I only wear it when I'm in costume. Uh, but it's fun, you know, it's another art form, so... It's something that I learned to appreciate through cosplay.
very excited about actually wearing this with all together. That part still seals, seems a bit surreal. I like the way that you can do different things with it, but I'm just too lazy to put it on every day. Like, I will put it on occasionally, but generally not unless I'm like going somewhere that I feel like I want to be enough, want to feel a little more put together or something. I don't do it when I'm just like running errands or anything. Because I'm lazy. <sighs> I got stuff to do. It takes me way too long to put on a full face. Elka Trucks is saying nice things, saying they're super glad to found, found this community. Thank you so much for all the encouragement. That is really motivating. Um, yeah, it's like way more fun to work with like a group of friends that are kind of like watching over you and cheering you on and having your back. Like, I think that's the experience anyone would enjoy. So thank you guys for joining me. down to not have to mess with this stuff again. Pardon me while I just like bury myself in concentrating on this for a little bit longer.
Thanks there, guys. Time, so time, that's right.
we done? is really hurting um, which is unfortunately something I've been dealing with over the last few days I'm not sure what's going on but I might not make it much longer on stream just because I'm not feeling well I'm really glad I'm done with this bias tape almost or will be like within within moments Awesome. I need to give it a quick press, but just in terms of like the way this hangs and stuff too, oh, it's gonna be sweet. And cause the, uh, it's the whole like interfacing sandwich of the bias trim with the gold does make it quite a bit thicker. So it has a little bit more body to it, um, to the hem and that's kind of nice. And there we go. Um, well, I did intend to stream for longer tonight, but I'm like physically feeling not well and I don't want to stress myself if I'm not feeling well. So I think I am going to end it here, but I'm going to end it on this triumphant moment of success having finished our bias tape. And that'll be perfect because now I can change my thread color and not have to waste a bunch of time. Um, so thank you guys for joining me. I am gonna do at least one more of these streams um, To finish this up. I might do a little bit of work in between. We'll see uh, I think it's pretty straightforward from here on out um, of like assembling the pieces I'll probably try to do the bloomers on stream Because I know people get confused by pants and shorts pretty easily So I'll do my best to try to show that but anyway um, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and it for now just because I don't feel well and that sucks but uh maybe I'll stream tomorrow we'll see just keep an eye on my twitter thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me and I will see you next time bye